Local search and rescue crews have an extra set of eyes during their mountain rescues thanks to some volunteers from Sandia National Labs. News 13's Jamie Seymour shows you why some employees are going from the lab to the trails. By day, Craig Tenney is a chemical engineer at Sandia National Labs, but by night... Hike them out whatever the safest way is. He helps rescue lost and injured hikers. After you've hiked six miles uphill, you really don't want to turn around. So people keep trying to push higher and higher. And I guarantee you, mountains don't get easier the higher you go. After a few months of intense basic training for area terrain, Tenney joined the Albuquerque Mountain Rescue Council. When a 911 call comes in for a hiker lost in the dark or stuck in snowy conditions near the peak, the volunteer group gets the call to help. The weather gets nice down here in the city, but for all practical purposes, it's still winter up on top of the mountain. But Tenny's not the only lab employee making these rescue missions. Right now, about a dozen scientists and engineers at Sandia National Labs volunteer with the council, bringing their own analytical skill set to the wilderness. When it comes down, time to figure out technical rope work, and pulleys and forces and vectors and all that sorts of physics. You can tell who the Sandians in the room are. And while Sandia employees make up about a quarter of the council, Tenny says people from all different backgrounds are a big part of those mountain rescues. The healthcare community provides a lot of people. They bring their special skills. Uh, former military is also a large uh, provider of people. Tenny's not quitting his day job anytime soon. But says this good cause in his spare time is a mission he's happy to be a part of. You're out there helping people. It is oftentimes a challenging situation, but you're out there with friends and teammates. Jamie Seymour, KRQE News 13. The Albuquerque Mountain Rescue Council is looking for more volunteers. If you're interested in signing up, we have that information on our website, krqe.com, under the Always On tab.